Greetings, developers and Morales mages. Hope everybody's having a great day today as we are getting geared up for the Morales Cross Kronos Metaverse Gaming Hackathon. So what is Kronos? Well, I'm here to tell you just that. Kronos is an EVM compatible smart contract blockchain, very similar in function to Ethereum, but oftentimes at much lower costs. Basically, if you have a Solidity smart contract that you'd like to deploy to Kronos, is as simple as securing some Crow and deploying that contract right on the Kronos blockchain the same way you would on the Ethereum mainnet. David's going to go over some details on that here in a little bit, but I'm here to show you some of the similarities between the block explorers and how uh, with Ethereum we have Etherscan, which is a commonly used block explorer over there, and then Chronoscan on the other side. So let's take a quick look. Here I have a, a Etherscan transaction, um, and as we can see, the cost to send the transaction listed as the transaction fee and the amount sent. Similarly, looking over at Kronos Scan, we have an equivalent transaction. Now, in this case, we're moving CRO instead of ETH, but the output is very similar. We're taking one token, moving it from one address to another. You can see all of that information right here. Similarly, you can see smart contract interactions and things of that nature on the Block Explorer. So if you're already familiar with using Etherscan, you should feel right at home going over to Chronoscan and getting started over there. Now that we have a handle on taking a look at some on-chain transactions across both chains and exploring some of the similarities, Next, we can take this a step further and start to integrate Kronos blockchain with some of our games and provide Web3 functions to our gaming experiences. David's here to show us some tips on how to do that. That's right, Phil. Thank you for the introduction. So I'm going to keep this uh, short, but basically I want to show you guys how easy it is to integrate Kronos to your Unity game using Morales. So first you need to go to Morales.io here, click on Login and gonna register if you don't have an account yet but as i do i'm just gonna log in and here i'm gonna create a new dap i'm gonna select for example testnet uh, and i'm gonna select chronos so i could do this uh, with all these uh, chains and i could do this also on the mainnet but since it's a tutorial i'm gonna select chronos testnet proceed i'm gonna select my region and here create your dap name this is good and in some seconds we'll have the dap created if we refresh we'll have it here so uh, i created uh, a sample project for you guys so if you go to github uh, in the link in the description below in the video you'll go to this page right here so I created this for you guys to, you can uh, get started very easily in the hackathon. So if you go here and code and download the zip or open with GitHub desktop, you will find this project right here in Unity. So if you don't find this panel right here, you can go to Tools, Morales Web3 Unity SDK, Open Web3 Setup, and you will find it. So if you go back to the test DAP here. If you click on settings, you can copy the DAP URL. You can go to Unity and paste it here. And do the same for the application ID. Perfect. So that's all we need to set up Morales and Kronos, okay? This is thanks to the um, Morales Web3 SDK, uh, Unity SDK and this is already imported here in this project but if you wanted to import it to your new project it's as easy as if you go on the on here on this on the github here you have the link to the Morales Web3 Unity SDK you can go here and just copy this um, URL here you can copy this and go to the project, Unity, Package Manager, and here you would add this as a kit URL, and you would add the package. And as you see, this is the package that we got here. 
So we don't need to do anything else in this project. But what uh, you would like to know also is that the authentic authentication kit is the one uh, is the well, it's the tool that will let us authenticate to Unity and to sorry to Morales and to Kronos. So we will use that credentials and with authentication kit, we're going to log in. And if you don't find it, also, if you have a new uh, game and you want to find it, you can go to tools and select authentication kit and you could drag it on your scene and you could uh, start your game. So that's basically what I did. I imported the Morales, Morales Unity SDK and then I um, dragged the authentication kit. So uh, if I hit play, I also have MetaMask here in my hand, as you see. And I have some, I have the Kronos test, the testnet imported and some cross, T cross in it. So you can do that if you don't know, uh, watching this video of my colleague Sam. And uh, because you need it uh, for authenticate. So here you can click on connect. And I'm going to scan the QR code with my phone, as you see. And I'm going to connect. Perfect. So as you see, I just, just retrieved my wallet address on top of my player. And there on the top right of the screen, I have uh, my, my balance of t -cross. So I don't know if you can see, but here there's the balance. This is the t -cross that I import that I just uh, get using that video uh, of my colleague Sam. So as you can see here, you have uh, the, sample, the sample scene. So if you use this project, you will be able to start like this. You have a 3D character jumping around and in this cool scene. And also, I think you can do a, a very cool stuff here. Pressing H, you'll be able to dance a little bit. As you see, If you don't know, this is the Morales wrap. Uh, go ahead and, and check the video. And yeah, that's it. So uh, we can hit stop and go over very, very fast uh, on how we do this on how we retrieve all this. So on the authentication kit, once we are connected, okay, once we have um, a scan a QR code, we call this function in game manager, which is called a start game. And we're basically enabling the input of the player so he can move, getting the native balance right here, and also getting the wallet address here inside the, you'll see, player wallet address. We get the wallet address right here. Very, very easy. So uh, as you see, guys, use this to uh, get started. You'll be in, uh, you'll be advanced on other players if you do uh, on other participants if you do this and also keep in mind that we're using the 1.26 uh, version okay of unity sd of the morales unity sdk as we have here 2.0 is uh, coming is almost already here but in for this project we're going to use uh, 1.2.6 uh, uh, so keep in mind this and basically that's it. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoy this and yes, use this so you get a little bit more advanced and you can win the prize. Okay. Well, thank you so much, David, for that overview. I want to encourage everybody who's watching right now to get registered for the hackathon. Spots are limited and they're filling up now, but we want as many people as possible to be a part of that amazing event and have an opportunity to win some prizes. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you at the Morales Kronos Metaverse Gaming Hackathon.